Hey, what's going on, guys? Gonna kind of break down one of my Yelto I got at Cedros off the Hobie Outback. So, kind of got to the spot in the morning. It was Punta Norte, and we were kicking around, fishing for some calicos, pitching in some lanes in the kelp. And I had already actually hooked a, a pretty big yellowtail on the weedless and lost it. So I knew there's some yellowtail in the area and I was fishing the, the war baits lead head with a little MC swim bait. And then I kind of switched over back to the weedless bait. Uh, and so I was kind of kicking around knowing that I had, I, had, I had seen some some fish in the area with, and they were eating the same bait. So once I started kicking around some more and, and looking for fish, I finally hooked into a good one. And it was, it was shortly after this cast here. Uh, and then, so right as I hook into this going, it takes a massive run, which I kind of talk about uh, in this well, clip. we got a yellow. We are freaking hooked up, boys. Oh, my lord. Jello! Almost spooled here, guys. And uh, yeah, watch that one explode on it on top of the kelp. That was probably one of the coolest things that ever happened in my life. And right about here, I keep talking about how I want the fish to stay on, but I feel it pop in a weird way right about um, here. And so once I feel that pop, I had a similar kind of thing happen on the previous yellowtail that I caught or that I hooked in the morning. So I thought I, I'd lost the fish. And so this was kind of happening for a while. And I didn't really feel anything fighting back until um, right as this fish takes its next run here, I'm like, I see that it's it's still on. I'm still kind of stoked and in it. So this was in the early few minutes of the fight. And little did I know I was going to be there for another 35, 40. So it was pretty gnarly. But I'm kind of getting back into it, realizing that I'm actually still have the fish, which is sick. And then this whole time, I'm doing kind of big loops around the kelp stringer because this thing was in... It, was, it really wrapped me up on one big um, kelp stringer that was kind of deep. And I was really pumping on it, trying to saw it out. But you'll see in these next few clips, I'm, I'm really putting a lot of pressure on it. I feel them running still when I put it in free school. Yeah, there's a kelp on there. Not a lot of kelp, just one big string. Yeah. So once I finally started to get some leeway, I'm really, really putting a lot of pressure. You know, I'm using my, my knee a lot, kind of trying to give my left hand a break off the rod. And when I'd give my, my left hand a break, I'd use the steering on the left hand side. So what's cool about the Outback is it has steering on both sides. So I'm able to use both my right and left hand to make quick adjustments, especially it's pretty important on these bigger fish. So that's one thing I really like about it. Then I finally feel it kind of start to swim out and I'm kicking around that stringer more and I start to really, really pump on it, put a lot of pressure. So one thing too is here I'm using the reverse and this whole time I was switching from forward to reverse with that, uh, the, pedal, the Mirage Drive 180 that the Outback comes with and doing loops around the stringer, trying to get it out in any way I could. And then I see the seal start to roll in, which this is when I really, really start to put the, uh, put the, put the gas to the fish and try to get in as fast as I can. And then I, I kind of just got it off that one stringer and I realized it, so I start beelining to the next stringer it wrapped me up on. And then I actually saw it on the surface here, which you'll see. Kind of kick over there, realize it's lodged up on the surface, and I didn't know how the seal basically didn't get to it yet. It was pretty crazy. And then once I once I see this thing, I like scramble to get my gaff, gaff the fish, and I get pretty stoked. Holy crap! That is insane! <laughs> ah. 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 Oh my god! Look at that thing! Whoa! Whoa! Look at that thing! Oh my god! All right, 
right, well, that's a big yellow. Man, this is addicting. And then here, I, I hand the fish off to the ponga, and I was definitely super stoked because this was the fish of a lifetime for me. Biggest fish on, biggest yelltail and biggest yelltail in the kayak, and then, uh, yeah, we we ended the day, started heading back, and it was a, uh, it was definitely felt like a good ride back. So it was a super fun time out there at Cedros, fishing the outback, and yeah, it was it was just killer. So love fishing on the outback, a lot of features on it that are very very killer and pretty useful for when you're fighting big fish like that. So had a great time and uh, super stoked. I'll be doing a few more voiceover videos like this. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of, it's my first time doing it. So I've been messing around with some stuff and we'll have some more videos up in the pipeline. So I had to take a little break for school, but, uh, but yeah, there'll be more coming out soon. So yeah. Thanks guys. You.